if you're left to wonder what this ninja mod thing is, I do apologize. I had been preparing to post video updates on this project, but at this time I do not even have my website properly updated for all of the mass changes I am making to the ninja mod project. But my hand has been forced. I've entered into a contest and I need to finish a level within the month, so I don't have time for niceties such as a proper video introduction to the ninja mod project. That will unfortunately have to wait until next month. So what I will bring you today is an in-depth creative look into the process of creating a level, particularly one that will be entered into this contest that I had entered, which in fact will also bring with it several limitations such as an inability to create custom content. But that's alright, that means you get to view some of the more fundamental concepts of level design. So the first step of creating a level is to come up with a good idea. Now often enough you can be struck with a good idea and build from there, but when you are working within certain constraints, especially within the constraint of time, this idea cannot always pan out. In fact, a lot of bad levels are created because people try to force a level out without being truly inspired. This comes habitually because people get so used to having good inspiration, which doesn't require extensive active thought that when they are pressed for time, they think they can develop something that is just as good without extensive active thought. It's a lot like those comic strips that aren't very funny, because they were never based off of a funny joke to begin with. Well, I don't want to do that with my level. But since I don't have the time to wait for a grand inspiration to hit me, I need to figure out everything that I want to do ahead of time. When you are building a level like this, it does not start with a floor plan. It starts with a far more vague idea of what sort of level you want to build. Is it a large and sprawling arena? Is it a tight and defined combat field? Do you want something with a flat two-dimensional layout or a complex layered system? How easily do you want the players to be able to identify where they are and memorize the map? And how much do you want them to simply play off of what is right in front of them at the moment? Well, this is what I want for this map. It is going to be a deathmatch map for Unreal Tournament 3, but I also want something that I can easily incorporate into my Ninja Mod project. However, this really has to be built primarily for UT3 and not the mod, so I need to build it around UT3's characteristics, and we can worry about porting it later. So let's take a look at Unreal Tournament. Since this is a deathmatch map, we don't need to define major points of interest and objectives. We just need to build something that will play for fast combat. Working with the weapons will be the most key feature, and second to that will be defining courses and floor plans that will dynamically affect a player's movement and strategy. So first, build it to work well with the Unreal weapons. A delicious staple of Unreal's combat has always been the sniper rifle so we need to work well with it. But at the same time, the map should not punish those who have no affinity for sniper matches. I will pull some inspiration here from the map Crane, which works well from both levels by providing sufficient area for sniping as well as for close combat. But I do not want to take this map to such a major degree of sniper activity, so I will tone this down to simply having a few areas that work extremely well for snipers, while the rest of the map plays off of the rest of the combat experience. Moving down the list, the next weapon I will address is the link gun, and the minigun. I have found that these weapons are simply fantastic for evasion scenarios, both for trying to assault an evading enemy, as well as trying to assault an enemy while evading. So to work well with these weapons, I need to have sections of the map that have plenty of design built around evasion, with plenty of cover and mild obstructions to foil clean shots while the player darts towards one of the several exits from that area into other areas. Next, let's take a look at the rocket launcher, the most classic of Arsenal. The wondrous thing about rockets has not been merely their immense power, but their splash damage. Unreal has always worked so well with that because of their unique heritage toward the 8-ball gun, which allows players not only a direct standard rocket, but also an array of rockets to maximize the splash damage. 
A section where the rocket launcher will be really efficient is one where there are going to be enough walls, floor, and ceiling to hit and splash the opposing player with, but also we must allow the attackee a fighting chance in this area designed for rocketry. Well, the only way to survive a rocket attack is to get out of the way very quickly. Trust me, it works. I think a good design for this would be a series of medium-length corridors, which would provide ample geometry to splash the rockets off of, but also be short enough to get out of the way and prepare one's own assault against those with the rockets. The flat cannon and bio-rifle work stupendously in close areas, so I think both will work efficiently in these last two areas, while the shock rifle, enforcer, and again the stinger, will work well in the more open areas designated for the sniper section. So between these three bases, I believe I could form a very good deathmatch map for Unreal Tournament. Now about the basic design. I want to be able to incorporate this level into my ninja mod, so I don't want to follow after the futuristic and sci-fi environments of the ut universe. So, I'll try to follow a theme that closer emulates one of the more modern environments. As it just so happened, some inspiration did hit me, and I decided that I would like to create some sort of depot. It would have a sizable exterior environment that will work well for the sniper sections, and have plenty of cover on the inside to work well with the link gun sections. and I could easily take some liberties to create some corridors where the use of the rocket launcher will excel. And so there we have it, the foundation for a good level. It doesn't start with a lightning strike. It doesn't start with a floor plan. It doesn't start with building some rooms to see what you like. It starts with some thought. Now let's get started.